Guys, what it do, your boy Zodius here today. Now, I said the other day that I would like to kind of give an overview of why I didn't really like the Surface Book 2. And it, the Surface Book, mine's right here. I have the 13 inch, 13.5 uh, inch GTX 1050, 8 gigabyte of RAM, um, i7 something, uh, 256 gigabyte SSD model. And I always wanted one. I, it was always like the dream laptop of mine, but it was always so expensive until I got a decent deal on one, and it, it was just something I always wanted. I always thought they were so cool, I thought they would be so powerful, I thought they would be great, I thought I'd never have an issue with one, um, I thought that would be like the greatest laptop I could ever get, I thought I'd never want anything else, until I received it. Now, this is not to get... Uh, taken as a Surface Book Disk because I think it is a great laptop. It is great for what it does, but there are things that it doesn't do. Now starting off with what I like about it, it's touch screen, it separates into a tablet, it's very professional looking and it is very powerful, but coming from someone who had a gaming laptop, it's not as powerful as my gaming laptop. It's The screen is beautiful, it's one of the most beautiful screens I've ever laid eyes on and I have two nice monitors downstairs one of them being a 2k ultra wide the other being 144 hertz uh, curved monitor and it's a very nice monitor I love both my monitors but this screen blows both of those out of the water the screen is beautiful you don't see any pixels it's like looking at your phone screen but magnified and you can't tell any any slight like issue at all I played Destiny 2 on it a little bit. Um, I played GTA 5 on it a little bit and it ran both of them pretty well. It ran GTA at like 60 FPS consistent. Well, maybe not like in the range from like 40 to 60 in that range there, but it was running at over 30, which I consider playable. And it was running it really well. If I would have turned down settings more, definitely would consistently hit 60, if not more. Um, the screen resolution is 3000 by 2000 for. Uh, example and it, it the pixel dens density is really nice it's a beautiful laptop but 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 being as though I came from a gaming laptop with a 7700 HQ and a 1070 in it it's very hard to beat that but more positives the cooling system on it is great it may get kind of loud sometimes very occasionally but undervolting, it can help out a lot. This thing did not get over 65 degrees Celsius, even when gaming. Um, it was very good about that. It boots up very quickly. My last laptop booted up very quickly. My, my desktop boots up, but they, they're both off SSDs, like NVMe, NVMe SSDs. And they boot up super quick. This boots up in 1.7 seconds, under two seconds. I have not seen it boot up in over two seconds. And just having the touch screen, because I use the desktop combined with this, so I normally use the program where I can have the mouse on both. Um, this having the touch screen is so nice when I'm streaming, being able to go into Discord and mute myself and do things like that without having to switch my mouse over. It's very nice. It charges very quickly. It, I haven't had any issues with this charge, but like I said, I also undervolted it. Um, and it also, the battery life is amazing. I love the tablet function of it, being able to separate it. I didn't, I thought I would use it more than I did, but from what I've used, it's really nice. Uh, I probably would have went with the 15 inch model, um, knowing what I know now if I still want a Surface Book, but it's very well built, it's aluminum, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful laptop. Um, the cameras on it are very good, there's many times in my stream where I did, uh, like I used the, the camera on here, and people thought that I was using my actual face cam and stuff. So, it's a really nice laptop. <laughs> but, 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 let's get into what I don't like. I do not like, honestly, the only thing I really don't like is the power of it. Now, like I said, it's very powerful. But I think I underestimated or overestimated how capable a 1050 was. Um, and I underestimated the impact that the power restriction would have on everything. Because it's a very good CPU and technically the CPU should be better than the 7700 HQ. 
but it doesn't have as much available power as my old laptop. My old laptop was like 120 watt, 160 watt or something. Um, this laptop, I think it's like a 90 watt or 105 watt, something like that. And it just, I think that power constraint on the 1050 and the CPU hurts a bit. And I also wish I would have had the 16 gigabyte model for RAM. I think that may have helped out a little because I feel like I maxed out the RAM a lot using my OBS and my different pro the, the different applications and things that I do on my laptop. Because uh, the main issue I've been having is, for one, my old laptop I could stream and game off very comfortably. This one I cannot. And my last one I could stream off of or game off of very comfortably. This I can game off of comfortably, but it does not stream very well. Um, because I like to have my Nightbot open for my music. I like to have the Twitch dashboard, which I think the new dashboard having the video and stuff uses more resources than the old. I'm not too much of a fan of that. Uh, I have Discord open, I have Streamlabs open, and then I have OBS open. So I may be just doing a little bit too much with it because I've noticed as I've started to put the dashboard on my other computer, it's been a lot better. Um, it runs great, it just has its little moments where it seems like the RAM or something's maxing out and it kind of stutters a little. Um, but that's really the only issue. If maybe, you know, allowing it to have, because it's very power hungry it seems. Um, but maybe if they allowed it to have more power with the next versions coming out, they allowed them a little bit more power. Um, and just... I, a 1050 is really outdated at this point. Maybe two years ago the 1050 would have been more adequate, but it's just, it can't get the job done. So it, overall, it's a great laptop, and I would recommend people to get the Surface Book 2. Um, it just kind of depends on what you're into. If you're mainly going to be using it for gaming, do not get it, no matter how cool it sounds. It's not good for that type of thing, and it's not meant to be used for gaming, it's meant to be used for productivity. Um, and unfortunately, it's not quite, I'm used to my desktop, and like I said, a gaming laptop that has a lot more power, so it's kind of rough going to this, going from something that can stream and game, and still have plenty of power left over, to something that can barely game and can barely stream. Now, if you're going to be doing lightweight gaming, and you do more of older games or something, maybe even with 16 gigs of RAM, it would do some more new games. But I, if you really are dying to get a Surface Book and you plan on doing any type of gaming, I'd recommend getting the 1060. Uh, the 1050 is good if you're going to be using Adobe products and you're going to be, you're like an artist that does pictures and things like that because the touch screen is great, it's very responsive, it's very active, um, it's just not what I was looking for. It's a wonderful laptop, it's just not what I wanted in a laptop, unfortunately. There's not enough power there for everything I needed, and I may have to learn too many things this way. But I got a really good deal, and I really want to try it out, and I'm happy, at least I know, um, what it, the kind of market it pertains to. Now, my new laptop I'm gonna be getting should be, I was thinking about a Razer, and I did a bit more research, and I think I'm gonna go with an MSI. Um, I had an MSI before, no, my old one was, I don't know, something. Asus, I think. Um, the new one I'm looking at is an MSI GS63. Now this, because I was looking at the Razer 15 inch uh, with the i7-8750, um, and I'm, I like that processor because it has a nice six cores and 12 threads and everything, and that's an upgrade from my old 7700HQ, but I think I want to go with the GS because the Razer it was a 15 inch 1060 Max-Q version. Now, if it was a plain 1060, I think it would be cool, but I don't really want the Max-Q because I've researched the numbers and everything and I've compared it to a regular 1060, and I kind of want something that would be an upgrade of power from my old laptop. So I've been looking at the GS63, which I can get a pretty good deal on eBay for like a refurbished one or something, and that can have a 1070 in it. So I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, the 1070 would be the same as what I already have, but the processor would be an upgrade and from what I've been reading this has four thermal pipes inside of it and it kind of reduces the throttling and things like that. And I love the fact that it's very little bezel on it. Uh, the keyboard seems nice, it's an RGB keyboard which I'm excited about. Even though most of the time I use it will be on a desk um, as a 
using it basically as a desktop, but I will be taking it out quite a bit, and I want a laptop that's nice to look at. Um, and it just seems like a great laptop, so. I can also get one with a 144 hertz monitor. It, they may all come with that, but I'm not entirely sure yet, so I think I'll go with that and uh, see where that takes me, you know? It's not like I can't turn around and sell them or just get something else, but it's kind of nice to try everything out. Um, but that has kind of been my review on the Surface Book 2 13.5 inch model with the GTX 1050 and the i7 processor. Thank you guys very much. Hope to see you guys later.